three years ago, I started an experiment to uh, put different filament samples out in the out in the wild and expose them to the na to nature. And after three years, I'm going to see how well they've done. So over here, I started with uh, color fab, and this is. Uh, lightened up a bit. This is carbon fiber. Um, I ended up chipping a piece when the sample fell. Uh, big surprise so far has been the protopastas. These are the stainless steel. And you can tell there's a difference. This is darker and the ones outside lightened. Also, um, I polish these up a bit. And um, they've definitely lightened in the sun and they're still a little smooth, but their texture has really changed. Here's the magnetic iron. So they've clearly rusted, which is one of the appeals of protopasta is that it rusts like that. Um, again, you could feel that the polish ones have are, still have some polish on them, but the, it's rusted over. On the bronze fills, they've lightened up a little bit. Copper fill um, has definitely tarnished. And these are the wood fill ones. So this is the cork fill and uh, wood fill from Colorfab. Both have completely uh, tar uh, turned white. So, definitely sun exposure. Uh, going down the line, um, all of these colored ones um, are different PLAs that have clearly just uh, tanned out. This one used to be uh, very puke pink. So I think that's this one here. So this one's clearly turned puke from a tan to puke pink. Now the uh, flexible ones, compared to the original samples, this is um, Ninja Flex and Semi Flex. So they both fairly, they're still fairly flexible. Um, Ninja Flex has got a few little holes in it. And both have lightened, but they are still presentable. So there's those. Again, here's the PETG, which is um, from the plastic bottles. This is lightened, but it's actually just as brittle and weird as it was before. And kind of going down the line of oddball samples. This is a PETG carbon fiber. So it's lightened just a little bit. Get a better view here. So it's lightened a little bit, but it hasn't really changed. Others, like uh, this is, I think, one of those weird hybrids. It's a P polycarbonate and ABS. Lightened. And on the end here is bronze fill from Isun. So again, it's lightened a little bit. Um, it still has a metallic sheen to it. But compared to the original, yeah, it's not bad at all. Let's see, this is late brick. So it's a sandstone mix. It's actually gone more brown. Hope that shows up. But overall, um, I think
So overall, um, the main effect of leaving these outdoors has been that they've definitely faded. Uh, some of the composite ones have definitely changed their tint and color. Um, I wouldn't, the interesting ones are the TPUs, the Ninja Flex and Semi Flex, because even though they've lost a little bit of color, they're still flexible after three years of outdoor exposure. Um, so some of these I could say you could use in a, something like a garden or um, for some outdoor application, just be aware that you're going to lose color. Um, but I haven't done any hardness testing or anything on these, so I'd have to see if I could find someone with a factory to do that. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment. Otherwise, uh, like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.